everybody! It's your favorite Final Fantasy character, me. Today I'm going to be doing something called the Favorite Things Tag. Because I know you guys like these kinds of videos where I talk about, you know, generic life things. It's kind of entertaining. I don't know what you get from it, but it's fine. So we're just going to jump right in then. I have the list on my phone because that's what we do now. It's 2015. Get, in, get, you know, get with the picture. Come on with me. Let's go. Number one, what is your favorite hobby? This is such a broad question. I don't know why they word it like this, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. It's fine. I would say my favorite hobby is probably playing video games, which may not be considered like a productive hobby, like, you know, painting or something, but I like it and it inspires me and it makes me feel good. And so that's my favorite hobby. And I play like all kinds of video games, but mostly I like role-playing games because I'm a big nerd. Number two, what's your favorite food? Wow. Um, you know, this is a really big question, too. I mean, anybody that knows me knows that I just like food in general. If you put food in front of me, it's gone. I'm gonna eat it. I like things that don't require any effort. <laughs> like, I don't know, like chips or burgers or like bread with nothing on it. Bread is absolutely your favorite food. Bread is absolutely my favorite food. Thank you, ALB. Yeah. yeah. This was a full bag yesterday. And it's only noon today. I love bread. Oh my god. Gosh. Question number three. What is your favorite film? Okay, so there are three answers to this question and they're all very valid. In no particular order, my three favorite films are number... well, no particular order, okay? Pan's Labyrinth, The Fountain, and The Heat. And like, these are three very different films. The Heat, of course, is like comedy and is awesome and is just... Like, when I, when I feel like gross and just ugh, that's the movie I want to watch. When I'm feeling like philosophical and I want to like change my life, I watch The Fountain. And when I just want some cool fantasy stuff to just watch and like just, just think about, Pan's Labyrinth. They're all great. If you haven't watched them, you should definitely watch them because they're the best movies of all time. Come on. Who's your favorite artist? Do I have a favorite artist? ALB! Huh. Yeah. Question number four, I think. What is your favorite memory? I think my favorite memory is I think I was about 9 or 10, and this is a World of Warcraft memory, just so you know. Um, okay, so it was the launch day of the Burning Crusade, which is the first expansion pack for World of Warcraft, and I was about 9 or 10, my brother was like 15, 14, 15, in that range, and my parents let us stay home from school, and my dad went out like really early in the morning to pick up the collector's edition for the game for us, like as soon as the store opened and then we got it and we were playing all day it was really fun and I think what makes it a really good memory for me is like there was lots of food given to me and also the music was so like I guess impressive like it made a big impression on me you know when I think of, of new grand experiences I still picture going into Outland for the first time which for people that are not video game addicts must sound really pathetic but I don't care I don't care I don't really care number five what is your favorite song <laughs> Okay, so I have, I'm gonna give you two, two different favorite songs, because there are two different things that I like a lot. I listen to a lot of video game soundtracks, and lately, as of like last night, I've been listening to a song from Final Fantasy, and it's something called Prelude, and it's in every single Final Fantasy game, but it's, it's, it's made to sound different in every single one. Um, and I think it's really cool, because having that one piece of music that transcends like every single game over the course of 30, 40 years, whatever, how long, probably been more like 20 years, still. 40 years. Uh, listen. Listen. It's been 40 years. 40 years! I don't think my parents even had their <laughs> So I'm just gonna, you know what, it's been more like 20, it's fine. But it's gonna transcend 40 years. Final Fantasy's not gonna stop anytime soon, you know that. So the one I like the most though, is from Final Fantasy, I cannot do Roman numerals, oh no. Um, but it's, it's, the, it's the MMORPG, it's like um, the one that, the, A Realm Reborn, it's the newer one, right? So uh, it's, it's that prelude, and if I could put a sample of that song in here, I would, but that would get me in lots of trouble and I wouldn't be able to post this video. So I'm gonna put an annotation instead down here for you to go look at this song because it is so beautiful. It's just like this great orchestrated like uplifting thing where it's quiet and then it gets this like really loud like huge amount of brass instruments and it just sounds so... like it makes you feel... There's, there's so many cheesy words for this but I'm just gonna say great. In terms of like a like a song that I listen to for recreational enjoyment, like the th the first song that comes to my head because I I love pop music so much and there's so many songs that I just adore. But the first one that comes to my mind, which is I think a good one to go for, is "Boys Chase Girls" by Ingrid Michaelson. And and actually, ALB showed me that song when she first started visiting me in Toronto, and I think it's I associate what that with. Song's called, though. Isn't it "Boys Chase Girls"? I think it's it called is. like "Boys." Girl. It's called "Boys Chase Girls." Is it? I don't know how it goes. Google Boys Chase Girls. 
Ingrid Michaelson, Girls Chase Boys. Oh, the patriarchy. All right. I put boys first. Oh. I'm losing track of the numbers, but I think this is number six. What is your favorite TV show? I've watched a lot of Netflix in my years, in my last year, really. But I think the show that's made the most impact on me is The X-Files, because David Duchovny is a babe, and also Gillian Anderson is really important. Like, Gillian Anderson is the most important person in this planet. The most important. She's Jillian, you must wife bi. ALB. She's what? She's bi. I know she is, that's great too. I'm like, fuck yes! It could happen. It could happen with any of you. Huh. As long as you're of the age of 18. Just <laughs> be safe. But also, like, it's just such a good show, and I love Scully as a character. I think she's so great for the 90s, especially on TV, for like. And I mean, mind you, she is a white woman, but like, she's a woman in, in a role, like, in a character. Like, her character's in a place where men are like really prevalent, like there's no women in her field. There's hardly any other women in the show in her, in her field even, but um, I, I don't know, I just love it. I love more of the beginning series. As soon as Mulder leaves, I'm kind of like, well, I don't really care anymore. I still watched it, but I was, but that's a great show. So if you haven't watched The X-Files, what's your freaking problem? I don't like you. Go watch The X-Files. Number seven. What's your favorite book? You know, I have this great philosophical book in my head, but I cannot remember the name of it because nobody remembers the names of philosophical books. So I'm gonna give you something that's more digestible. I loved the Harry Potter series, of course. I mean, who didn't love the Harry Potter series? Come on, come on, come on. I didn't read them till I was about 16, and they were coming out starting when I was about seven, so it would have been perfect for me to read from when I was a younger kid, but I just couldn't get into them back then. So uh, the movies I got into, but as a kid, I just didn't want to read that much. I read World of Warcraft Quest text, but books are my forte. So um, in high school I read all the books, and I think number four, like Goblet of Fire is probably my favorite, or Half-Blood Prince. I don't know, I love them both, but it's a great series. I mean, all of you have read it. If you haven't read it, what's your problem? Number eight, what is your favorite dessert you've ever eaten? Mm -hmm. I actually, okay, I was 13 or 14 years old. I went to see Lady Gaga in Toronto before I lived here, and I stayed in the Royal York Hotel, and my parents got this, like, because they knew how much I loved her, and I still love her a lot, but they knew how much, like, how important it was for me to go to this concert. It was the Monster Ball. So they splurged on, like, the hotel and, and the seats and everything. So we got this really fancy floor with this really fancy room where you could go any time of the day, and you could get, like, free food. It was all complimentary food and, like, drinks and tea and everything, and I was so... I was there all the time when I wasn't at the concert. So they had this, like, delicious, like, and I'm not really good with food names, I just kind of eat everything, I don't really know what it is. But there's, it was like this fluffy, light vanilla and chocolate like mousse and it was whipped and it was just like eating clouds of flavor. It was gorgeous. You know, this is a really specific question, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Number nine is, what is your favorite household cleaner smell? Anybody that knows me knows that I love the smell of bleach. I love it. It smells like clean to me. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> like. I will, I will hardly dilute the bleach when I'm cleaning my bathroom or my kitchen so that I smell it for like a day afterwards because it makes me feel so comfortable. I'm like, oh yes, it's clean. I love the smell of bleach. It's probably not good for me, but I don't care. Is this number 10? I think this is number 10. If it's not number 10, forgive me, but I think it's number 10. Favorite musician. Okay, 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 okay. Nicki Minaj. That's all you gotta know. Number 11. What is your favorite video game? Ah, uh, that's another question that's hard for me to answer because there's games that I love because I love them and there's games that I love because I enjoyed playing them. So I think my number one most loved and treasured game is World of Warcraft because I grew up with it and it was like a big part of me. But I think my favorite game that I've ever played for the gameplay aspect was Mirror's Edge. And um, Mirror's Edge is, is something called, well, it's a parkour game. So parkour, you know, parkour, but it's like, in this game, you are something called a runner, and you are supposed to deliver packages in between places, and you end up getting caught into this big, huge political upheaval, and um, basically, you have to run, and that's what you do, you just run, but you have to run on top of buildings, and jump from building to building, and like, do some really cool acrobatic stuff, and it's very engaging. And I, I remember I played the whole game in one day, and I spent, I spent like 10 hours, because it's not a particularly time-consuming game, but it's very exhilarating. So if you want something that's going to keep you very uh, like alert while you're playing it, try Mirror's Edge, it's great. And number 12, your favorite cosmetic product. I'm gonna kinda go a little bit off the beaten track here because normally, you know, I'd say like a certain foundation or a certain eyeliner, but I wanna give you a good tip that if you, if you have the same problem as me, which is ridiculous acne, this is gonna help you a lot. I actually end up going on Accutane for my acne, so it's not as bad as it used to be. I just get an occasional breakout that's really bad. It's not like it used to be. So if you're looking at me like, your skin's good though, I know, but it's, it, it's not healthy skin. It's just, it looks nice, it's different. So what keeps my skin looking good is a Clinique spot treatment. It's the Acne Solutions Clinical Treatment Gel. 
um, clearing gel, whatever. It's got a salicylic acid, but it's it's really harsh. And I need that because my acne is cystic. It's really deep in the skin. So this penetrates really well and it just kind of gets rid of it. So what I do is at nighttime I put this on the spots, uh, which is usually like everywhere. And pretty much overnight it's gone. And then the next day I get more spots. So it's not like a long-term solution. But if I have something to do the next day and I want to look really cute, this saves me every time. I think you can get this for like 24 bucks. It's not an expensive spot treatment. It's not like a $6 clean and clear. But this one actually works. Just saying. So that's it. That's all I got to share with you today. If you have other things you want me to answer, like if you have another question, like what is your favorite whatever, what's your favorite, I don't know, cat in the whole world, just ask me in the comments and I may answer you. I would like to. So we'll see if you guys can come up with some cool questions and I'll answer them for you, okay? Um, so... I hope, you know, we've bonded from this experience because, you know, I feel closer to you now that I've told you all of these wonderful things. I'll see you later.